first i have to talk about this i have to talk about this first um and i have to talk about it mainly because i have the feelings that uh, a lot of people are probably going to ask me about it um or at least you know bring it up in some way so i'd like to address this um you know before anyone does and just kind of get it out the way over the week um Netflix dropped a trailer for uh, Good Times. And Good Times is basically an animated um, sequel, remake, whatever you want to call it, um, of the popular 70s uh, TV show. Um, and they're just bringing it into a more modern era, more modern setting. Um, I did watch the trailer. Um, and I was actually very conflicted on whether I even wanted to talk about it or whether um, I even wanted to give it any attention at all, um, because I understand with this platform that that you know that I have, um, you know, it, I'm not saying I'm changing the world or nothing, but you never know. Um, and one thing that has always been important to me was, as I was deciding whether I was going to talk about this or not, I was like, you know what, I'd rather share my thoughts on it um, than just not at all, right? And just hope that it fizzles out, goes away, whatever overall impression of it i did not care for the trailer one bit um i i watched it and it was immediately cringe worthy like the second i saw this i was just like what is this like what are we doing what, where are the jokes in this um and i i immediately got a very unsettling um feeling once this was all done um, it also did not help when I saw who was behind it. Um, you see that Steph Curry, yes, the Steph Curry, Golden State Warrior basketball player, um, is behind this, Norman Lear, which makes sense because he did, he was behind the original Good Times. And then Seth McFarlane, um, you know, family guy uh, creator. Now, he did do the Cleveland show and all that, but I'll be very honest. Um, that's a very light looking group of executives and i say that not just based off a of skin tone but um steph curry ain't grow up in the ghetto <laughs> like steph curry grew up in a place of privilege you know uh, with his dad being an nba player um norman lear like yes he was associated with uh the original good times but even then it was like bro like that was then. And even at that point, the original cast still had issues with how uh, their characters were portrayed back then. So let's not act like Good Times didn't have problematic issues, even though it's a beloved show and all that. And Seth MacFarlane, bro, you're another white guy. Like, what are we talking about here? Now, I did do a little research and I saw that, um, yes, it's an all black cast. Yes, you also have uh, the writers behind this, the showrunners. They are black. But that does not always mean very much. I mean, it's a step. It's at least better than having a bunch of non-black people talk about this. Um, but I, I can't. I could not escape how it still made me feel, um, which was very, very uncomfortable. And I had to kind of wrestle with that, you know. Um, I mean, just kind of going through it again. I'm not gonna play the trailer or nothing. Um, but I'm looking at like, you know, what are y'all actually showing us? You know, um, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the refrigerator, past due bills, C minus grades, whatever. Um, you're you're seeing, OK, a little police, uh, you know, kids, I guess, getting in trouble or whatever. Um, you're seeing poverty and stuff or whatnot. Um, you're seeing like a baby that's a drug dealer or whatever. And then, I mean, again, I. I I saw that they did slip this in there where like, OK, maybe it's the government slipping in guns. And then you're also, sh you know, showing black folks shooting each other and all. And I'm like. What are we doing? Who is this for? So. Let me kind of really give you guys and just be honest with you. The reason why I have a problem with the Good Times trailer is mainly because of one, I don't know who it's for. I don't know how it benefits black people watching this, like for what? So now if it doesn't seem like a beneficial thing for black people and it's telling a story from potentially a black perspective, my question now is who else is going to watch that? And that's going to be non-black people. So Latinos, Asians, white people, etc. 
And this is where my concern comes in. Why? Because when you look at people that are not black watching shows like this that portray stereotypes, even if they might slip in a couple nuggets of good stuff here and there, I still get worried mainly because it's not just about what they see. It's about what they don't know. My issue is not that my issue is that when they watch these stereotypes, you have to think about the fact that these are the type of images that reinforce the stereotypes that they already have. And why is that a problem? Because a lot of these non-black folks that watch these things, they don't have a close proximity to black people to counteract those stereotypes. They might claim to have black friends, but guess what? Your associate, your acquaintance at work or at school, that's not the same as a black friend. I'm talking about somebody that y'all hang out all the time. Y'all talk on the phone. You know their personal secrets, their history, whatever. That's the black friend that I'm talking about that most people watching this do not have. And why is that even more problematic? Because when you're dealing with these stereotypes and you're dealing with people that are not in a close proximity to black people or black culture to counter that, you also have the issue of this impacts how they vote. This impacts which politicians they support. This impacts what rights get taken away. This impacts what resources become limited in certain areas. This impacts what laws will get passed or not get passed. You even see this when it comes to being uh, international, when you go across, uh, you know, to international waters. You go to other countries and all they have are the movies, the rap music, hip hop, whatever, um, the TV shows. And that's all they have to say, this is what African-American black folks in America are like. Because that's it. That's this. That's the closest proximity they have to it. So is this good time show? going to bring down the black community is it going to you know uh, um be the downfall of black folks in america i highly doubt that but it does make me question how does it help and who does it help because that i can't figure that out at all so anyway um i'm definitely not supporting this um i'm definitely not okay with this um, I'm very disappointed in Netflix. I'm disappointed in Steph Curry. Um, I'm disappointed. I, I, I don't expect much from Seth MacFarlane or anybody else. Um, I'm disappointed in the cast. Um, no, I have not watched it yet. Um, but mm, honestly, I have zero desire to watch it. Like I said, it is possible that they might throw in a couple of positive things in there. But again, I don't know. If the amount of things that they put in there that are positive are going to outweigh the negative portrayals and depictions that are shown. I don't know if I don't know if the people that need to hear and see the positives will grasp those things at the same time. So this is a miss for me automatically. Um, I'm already kind of like over it. Um And uh, yeah, I just wanted to let that be known. So nobody don't be asking me, are you going to cover good time? No, I'm not. I see zero value in it. I don't care. I hope they cancel it. I don't care. Try again. You know, see now this it's very different. It's very different when you have something like this versus boondocks. Boondocks dealt with these stereotypes, I think, in a much more constructive way. I don't see the humor in this. I don't see the lessons from this. Boondocks could take those stereotypes but also critique them in real time. And that way you could really walk away and be like, man, I got to think about that now. I don't see this show giving me that. Now, again, I'm only going off the trailer, but I don't know. We'll see. But y'all let me know. Um, what do you think about that Good Times trailer? Um, I, 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 Again, I, I'm a little conflicted to even point people to it. Um, I'm. I'm just letting y'all know I'm I'm done. I'm not going to um, entertain it. I'm not going to uh, review it. Um, but y'all let me know what you think in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.